Hi, my name is John Carruthers. I've been working on guitars for the last 45 years. I've worked with such companies as Fender, Yamaha, Ibanez, Martin, and Gibson, and many others. If you'd like to learn more about working on your guitar, you can get my book, Teach Yourself Guitar Repair and Maintenance on Alfred Publishing. When you got the strings off your bass, is an opportune time to polish your instrument because the strings are out of the way. Also, if you've noticed that your pot sounds scratchy, you may want to clean your pots. It's very easy to do, and I'll show you how to do it. What we can do is we'll just loosen these screws. Usually on a P bass, it's very simple because there's uh, a lot of pickguard, and you can just fl t take the outside screws out and then flex it enough to get access to the pots and then put contact cleaner in the pots, and that will make them work properly. On a jazz bass, it's even easier because you have a little metal control plate, and you can disconnect that uh, separately from the pickguard. Now the magnets from the pickups make a handy screw retainer so you can just rest the screws that you take out on the magnets and that'll keep track of them for you. Now if we very carefully we can bend the guard up, you can see here, be careful that you don't do it so much that you damage the guard. Then we're going to open it up so that we have access to where the wires connect into the terminals. And we're going to take this contact cleaner. This is called Deoxid. This is one of the best ones you can buy. You can find it in electronic stores, places like Fry's and uh, Marvac and places like that. Anyways, it works really, really well and it's very controllable. It has a little needle so you can apply it just where you want it. We stick it in the opening in the bottom of the pot where the terminals come out. And we squeeze a little bit in. And then when we turn the knobs after, it washes off the tracks and it leaves a little bit of a lubricant in there that uh, keeps it from getting uh, corroded again. So now if we just actually turn the pots a bunch of times, that spreads the lubricant around inside and the cleaner. And then all we have to do is put it back together. We want to make sure that no wires got trapped underneath the guard so that the guard sits down all the way. It appears that I got one here that's kind of sticking out a little. Sometimes if you have problems with that, you can just take a little ruler and just uh, hold the guard down and just slide the wire back. And there you go. So we'll put the screws back in before it decides to jump back in place again. It's always a good idea when you're doing screws on a guitar to keep one hand down close to the bottom of the screwdriver so that the, screws, uh, the screwdriver doesn't slip out of the screws and accidentally scratch your instrument. Okay, and you don't want to over tighten the screws. If you over tighten them, it'll kind of buckle the pit guard and it won't look so nice. And after a while, it'll cause cracks. So you just want to just do it to its firm. If it seems like it's a little too tight, just kind of back it out a fraction of a turn and that will take some of the tension off the guard so that it doesn't crack later on. Okay, so we've cleaned it. Now uh, the electronics are taken care of. So you can plug it in, listen to it, you'll notice it won't be crackling anymore.